What is up everybody, it's the Anime Watcher here and for today we will be continuing our, you know, our progress towards the Sumeru Archon quest. And I can't believe it's still Act 1. We haven't escaped Act 1. I swear First to God. Get into position and like um this. Oh. move like that. Yep, that's it. Okay, so last time we met Alhatham. Um for some reason the Eremites call him a lunatic. I still don't know why. And um, our agreement with Alhatham is to meet a merchant named Dory. If we manage to earn Dory's trust, he'll give us more information about the stuff we need. So, um, yeah, we'll be continuing where we left off. And God, this is such a banger background music. God, okay. Uh, we'll be continuing on where we left off. And yeah, that's about it. Let's just dive right into it, shall we? Uh, where am I supposed to meet Dory? Probably... Uh, wasn't Dory a four-star? Who are you? You're not Dory. Hello. What are you two looking to buy? Where have I heard this voice? Wait. Are you sure you're remembering that right? Uh... Hyman doesn't think it was that on the paper. <laughs> what a unique palette. We have unripe horror fruits, but we usually keep them in the back. I'll have someone escort you. He sounds like Connor, Sea Dog VA. I I could be wrong. He sounds like him. Following the paper got us past the first round. Paimon, shut up. We're right in front of the dude. Ronok, these two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Show them to the warehouse. Got it. You too. Please follow me. Okay. You two have a fascinating fashion sense. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hold on. Let me think. Sumeru rose means common merch. Um, no, look again. We're obviously wearing morning flowers. Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. I have no idea what those mean. <sighs> that pop quiz sure was scary. Ah, the warehouse is up ahead. Please follow me. God, it, uh, I have no idea what those words meant. Other than those were secret words. Okay. Before we're finally I retrieve gonna your Dory. products, I need to confirm a few things. Oh no, I can see the hearts already. Uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by mice. Congratulations to you. Uh, hold on. That's not right. Taken by mice means they sold out. Paimon, he's right in front of us. Ah, uh, ah. I'm sorry. But as things currently stand, we won't be able to fulfill your order. Why don't you two think things over? How was I supposed to know? Alhatham gave the paper to Paimon. He didn't give it to me. He's cautious of us. Let's take a closer look at the paper that Alhatham gave us. Now you tell me that? Did he really give us something? Oh, wait, no. He never... Right? Oh god. Uh, mouse customer. Oh boy, I'm bad at memory. Taken by my sold the customers. Okay. Mouse customer. Uh, uh, oh god. Um, okay. So taken by my sold the customers. Taken by a rich. Confiscated by a matra. Pack in Sumeru City style to purchase a small amount. Oh god. Okay. I'm bad at memorization. So. Wish me luck. Before I retrieve your products, uh, please forgive me, but we Thank may God. not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by oh, mice. Oh, I almost, I almost pressed that. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? I'm sorry. Um... No, that's not it. You know? The paper said that heat stroke is the answer to erudition. 
Ugh, eating something that causes heat stroke sounds horrifying. Ah, uh, wow, really? I'm sorry. Wow. But as things currently stand, we won't be able to fulfill your. He's cautious of us. Let's take a clip. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat it. I'm gonna repeat it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess a pattern here. So it was down, up, and Before I, I retrieve feel like your the products, last one's going to be I down. need to confirm a few things. Okay, uh, please forgive just, me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by mice. <laughs> that, okay, you look faster. like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Yep, that's the right answer. But eating Hara fruit that makes your head and ears ring sounds like a bad life decision. So. First one was down, next is up, so I'm gonna bet the le the next one's going to be down. Would you like your Hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? Down. Wow, you two oh, sure are generous pog. customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Pog. Okay, everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at... Shoot, it's the Matra. Run! Excuse me, what? What? The Matra? We gotta get out of here. He left us. Where's Dory? We don't know this area, so let's follow that apartment. Wait, no. I feel like that's another code. Yeah, that's another code. He ran that way. That's another code. I know it. He traveled far. Dory will be right there. Huh. Find the owner hey, of the voice. If you're hiding from the Rishbalan tiger, come this way. Is that Another how Dory password. sounds like? Huh? Oh, that voice came from behind the building on the right. Here, over here. You can oh. stop running now. Oh, that's cute. Hey, Dory. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But, uh, are we definitely gonna be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. I love her cute glasses. Uh... <gasps> Night is going to join us. Isn't that the whole point? We're trying to do this quest. We're going to link in with Nahida. Too late. We couldn't link in with Nahida. Oh, very good. Uh, thank you. Huh? Wait, your Dory? Paimon sure thought you'd look a whole lot scarier. Paimon, be nice. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? I can be scary <laughs> enough when I need to be, believe you me. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. Okay, hang on. It could just be me. But Dory sounds like a mixture between Yoimiya and Hu Tao. It could just be me, but I really like her uh, voice actress. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? No, that was all Venti's problem. Uh, Paimon's not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment, but we'll take it. I can't risk doing business with people who start huffing and puffing after just a few paces. No matter how much Mora they might have. Not only will they get caught by the Matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. As decent folks trying to run an honest business. We don't need honest. any of that. Wouldn't you agree? So that's why I prefer to have customers like you. It's your first time here, but don't worry. I won't ask too many questions. Even if you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your oh, house damn. with, please knock yourself out. 
As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. Ah, yes! Of course, of course! Go ahead. Help yourselves. Voila! Wait, so is all Haytham's plan is for us to try and lure out Dory so that he could question her on where she got those, right? Is that what all themes uh, plan in mind? Wow, she is a troll of Karen's knowledge. Whew. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the Matra caught her with all this. What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? Uh, don't worry, I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. Oh my I god! Can, however, I'll she's some suggestions. She's literally the collector from Marvel. Oh, yeah. That dude will sell anything to anyone and won't even care. God. She literally is a collector. Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology Raiden. and dialectics of the Hillicharles. Why did you Only hand her a lecture? people in all of Tevat have ever studied it, Wait, making three. it extremely rare. It's on sale now for 350,000 mora. Damn. Yeesh. Who would want to be an expert in that topic? <laughs> or how about the architectural styles Ooh. and Ooh, construction methods that sounds methods interesting. That in the early Archon War period? That sounds interesting. Okay. Wait, it's just the construction. I actually thought it had lore on the Archon War period. With this Never one, mind. you can become an expert in historic architecture preservation and find an excellent, well-paying job in nearly any nation. That's kind of cool. Ooh, now this sounds like it could be useful. Two million mora. Jesus and it's Christ. Yours. And Whoa! That's a lot of mora! Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each knowledge capsule are indicated in small text on the body of each one, down at the bottom. Alright, let's try the method that I'll hate them mentioned. He mentioned a method? Oh, oh, the elemental site. So only one, no, two, three of them. Only three of them have elemental, like, yeah. And this one, and this one. Ah, you've really got a good head on your shoulders. And quite the eye for quality. Doesn't she know we can use elemental sight? Or like, is it because we don't have a vision? Okay. God, how much would that be? I'll take these, please and thank you. My oh my, you are blessed with the taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. One in a hundred. No, one in a thousand even. Okay, how much? Listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Offer for YouTube. For 100 more Mora, 100 million, I only get to pick one. What the hell? Say what now? I wanted three of them, not one of hey, them. Did you hear that? Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth oh, a whole K. million. <laughs> we just bought is easily worth half a million mora. If we spend just a little more, we can get something worth one million mora. Isn't God. that a fantastic deal? Paimon is literally me when it comes to gacha. I cannot contain myself. If I have the currency to pull, I will pull immediately. Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this canned knowledge. And so far, everything we bought belongs to all Haytham. Oh no, oh no, she mentioned all Haytham. We're, we're screwed. Aren't you even the least oh. bit curious about how this whole canned knowledge thing works? We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? Come on, come on. We still have around a hundred thousand of Alhatham's more or less. That's so two times she mentioned Alhatham. By finding something useful for you. Ahem, you got a deal, Dory. We'd like to spend an extra one hundred thousand mora. Let me guess, she scammed us Excellent. right now. And then please, select from this fine collection of canned knowledge over here. But we bought all three that are useful, that are actually, that has elements in them. 
Oh, there's a, oh, okay. There's another bad. Um, hold on a second. Paimon thought we could choose whatever we wanted. Why can't we choose the ones from over there? Oh no, we got scammed. Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find oh something my God, to your Paimon, liking. what have you Please, done? take your time. Uh-oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. Alright, have a look, okay. They're all shit, god damn. So, Paimon. what did you see? So no. So, they're all worth about the same amount? No, I don't agree. I'm gonna pass. If it gives me an option to pass, I'll well, pass. Well, anyway, the more has already been spent, so let's oh, at what? least try to find something useful. No. Paimon, stop. Let Paimon take a look here. Oh my god, an stop. An introduction to traditional Sumeru brewing techniques. The art of growing spices. Okay, sword fighting techniques. An overview of ancient eight. runes. Looks intricate. Voice crack. Oh, how about this one? Sword fighting techniques eight. Sword fighting. Sword Not fighting. Not sure we'd ever find volumes one through seven, but <laughs> at least this knowledge should be useful, right? Let's go with this one. I wonder. Will will we actually use that? Dory, we'll take this one. So we have four, right? All right, very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's canned knowledge or anything else you need, bring your Mora to Dory and doors will open. Okay. Thank you, Dory. We I might have gotten scammed, but... smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Funduk and meet up with Alhatham. Hopefully now he'll finally tell us about what the Academia lost. I couldn't have waited. Cut him. Put me down now. Goddamn banger music, always a banger. You made it. And from the looks on your faces, you were successful. Wow. There's so many people from the academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? We were framed. Well, Wikela Funduk is under the academia's control, so naturally the academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. We were framed. All he them's gonna bring us to justice. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macher won't come here. <sighs> okay, now. Tell me how your encounter with Dory went. And then Dory's right around the corner. Ah. Are we gonna tell him that we okay, got scammed we as well? Okay, we did what you asked. So, can you tell us about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost now? Before that... I have to ask, why are you two so intent on tracking it down? Now let's answer. You don't have to answer, of course. Yeah, she just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. I swear, if if the Traveler, once we get to that point, if the Traveler asks, have you seen my sibling? And she's going to say, oh no, I don't have. Go to the other region. You might... Fab, good luck there. My god, that would be such a hassle, but would that happen? I think so, but will I get bored of the story? Nah, I don't think so. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. Wait, don't we still have the telephone that uh, Venti gave us during that whole Golden Archipelago event? She clearly contacted us through there. So, boom, boom, boom. 
Hopefully it's still there. I In don't think case, we have it anymore. You're on the right track. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Okay. Wow! There's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, do you think we could learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? Ooh, or even how to find your brother? Paimon, I swear you're jinxing it. I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. It's the one Alhatham is holding. So, where exactly? That's what we need to find out next. Oh. I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, the Aramites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Mm. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late, but there is still no victor. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. Okay. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, oh, such those as those group. from Ayn al-Akhmar. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains King Deshret's power, and that he will return to this world when they obtain it. They refuse to let anyone from the Academia tarnish their deity's soul. Okay. So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Ayn al-Akhmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. To that end, they've resorted to many methods more foul than fair in order to amass sufficient funds. Okay. So... I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. There's literally an Eremite right outside this area. To ensure the capsule's security and to evade the Matra's notice, the winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory. Unless I know whose hands the Divine Knowledge Capsule ends up in, my agreements with them will fall through. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously closed to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. Okay. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Ping pong. Yes, you can say that. But this arrangement harms none of us. Hmm. The day after tomorrow, Go back to Dory and try to purchase information on the Divine Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. If she has no information, wait two days and approach her again. I'm not about to do that, am I? If I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Okay, then we'll meet up in two days. for ourselves, but we're not sure how to use it. <laughs> you two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Sure, I can teach you. Doing so right under the Academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. Okay. That seems far. Oh my god, that literally is far. Surely is far, but I have no other choice. I believe I can summon a wave rider here. Nope, never mind. I was wrong. Not here. 
Although I can dock one. Yeah, I can dock one, but I can't summon one. So I am curious, if I didn't buy the uh, capsule, will we ever have this option to use it? I am pretty curious. Alright, this place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here! Hmm... Sword Fighting Techniques 8. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days, since most have been taken by the Aramites to augment their battle capabilities. Okay. Really? Ah, oh, yeah, what a great buy! If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. Oh boy, it's useless then. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles. One before using this knowledge capsule, and one after. Okay, that sounds interesting. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. Okay. There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry. I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. Wow! Oh, hey, Thum! You must have been one of those guys at the Academia who got top grades on everything! Um, Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the Academia, right? So, why are you risking getting caught by the Matra for this capsule? When you are unable to understand a researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Mm, sounds like you're trying to avoid the question. <laughs> All right, let's begin the test. Just fight as you normally do. Okay. Am I... Oh, I am. Do I at least get the... Uh... Shine down! The wind knows me. Access denied. get any um, items damn Raiden isn't even as tall as him okay all right I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data okay the next step is to use this knowledge capsule hold it in your hand I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power can I actually like does it actually help oh it whoa it does I was not expecting that. Oh, we have a one. Huh. As if I saw countless sword we wielding figures fighting one moment, and then in the next, they disappeared into the recesses of my memory. That's kind of cool. You're learning hey, everything you in feeling? an instant. You mean that it worked? All right, time for round two. <laughs> I'm not even using this trap. Illusion shattered. Hit. Into the wind. No touching. Shine down. Insolent! Oh. Illusion shattered! I'm so sorry, Raiden. I'm so sorry. Now, I'll start recording data again. Oh, hey, Thumb. How's it going? Well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve her combat capability. During the second fight, her overall fighting performance increased by 0.073%. Huh, with my dull blade, baby. Wait, how much? <laughs> That's what you get, Paimon. That's basically zero. Ah, Dory's such a jerk! She totally scammed us! One million mora? This thing isn't worth a tenth of that amount! 
Paimon, you bought it. Of course. This could be because she is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. I'm heading back to Akela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. Damn! Please don't make me wait two days. Oh god damn it! Two days. You know, I'll just do that. God, it said seven, didn't it? I think I messed up. I think I messed up. Nice, we got on just in time. Trust me, I'll find you your perfect color. Here, over here! Oh, welcome back, my loyal patrons. What can I do for you this time? You name it. Can knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need. I'll find a way to get it. Where there's a waterfall of Mora, there's a way. <laughs> Can you really get us anything we want? Anything at all? Uh-huh. So it appears the can knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. <sighs> then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. Oh! <laughs> I knew customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly crave something more profound than ordinary can knowledge. But you know, that kind of information isn't going to be cheap. I'm prepared. I'm prepared this time. After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. Not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, I would be in big, big trouble. But how can we be sure your information is accurate? Paimon's curious how you just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need it. Okay, okay, pretty smart, Paimon. <laughs> because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Therefore, I must always be aware of what's hot on the market in order to secure more sales. Hmm. As for the information's authenticity, well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. The Divine Knowledge Capsule was purchased yesterday oh boy. by a certain misery, the leader of Ein El Ahmar. Ein El Ahmar? You mean the Aramites who worshipped King Deshret? Ah, so you're already familiar with them. The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of King Deshret. That Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other canned knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing bright red. Hmm. The capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look for yourself. Thanks for the info, Dory. Please, it's my pleasure. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not in vain. Please, don't hesitate to contact me if you ever need anything else in the future. Mora for Dory opens doors. 
<laughs> God, she's pretty well, amazing. We figured out where the divine knowledge capsule is. It turns out it ended up in the hands of Ein El Ahmar. Let's head back and talk to Al Haytham. I can just do this. It's more easier. Hey Al Haytham! I'm coming from the skies. It's gonna be a raining Nilu soon. <laughs> Did I get fall oh, damage from that? We got the info you wanted. Really? All right. Let's hear it. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. Huh, look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramite's transaction. But then to get close enough to take a picture like this. Bold move, Dory. Very bold move. Damn, you sound like you're impressed. All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader of Ain al Ahmar. And the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge capsule. Why is it red, though? In which case, if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show their hand. How is this still Act 1? At first, Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these Ain al Ahmar guys. But now, it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to lend us the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Oh, this is where Let's Act 1 again ends. on the afternoon of the arranged date, 3 o'clock sharp. I'm guessing. See you then. This is where Act 1 ends. Oh, never mind. Oh, Haytham sure is taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Yep, let's go. How was Act 1 not finished? What? It's above? Okay, if I can teleport to it, I will. Ooh, apparently not. Actually, I can. I'll just have to teleport here. Okay. It's much more quicker. Probably. Nah, it's much more quicker. I'm really surprised. More quicker. I'll hate them. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. God, NPCs. It was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. But to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. Fighting words, I always love I'll hate them for that. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. <laughs> I assume you don't mind. Backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? I thought You've it was come to wait. support this lunatic because he helped you out? <laughs> Fine. Your funeral. I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, you'll be nothing more than fish food. Get him, boys! It's been a while since we've actually seen a cutscene. Wow, the shaking really makes uh -oh, it terrifying. Here they come. Uh, good luck, you two! God damn. <laughs> wow. Uh. Oh, That's close go. enough! Oh. There is no escape. With all my strength. Where do you think you're going? Now you shall perish. Following orders. Shine down. The wind knows. 
Oh, that was it. Oh, Katine! Uh, academia scum! Oh, dull blade, baby! Boss, finally! Oh, it's the one who has a Did divine it? can cap. Great! Right? Now we can. Uh -huh. Oh. B boss? What's happening? Whoa! Oh damn! What's happening? Boss! Boss! What's wrong? What happened to him? We have to cut his Akasha connection now. Holy! God, that was so badass. God damn, that was so badass. Target acquired. Arrest him. God, that was badass. Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Haytham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Damn. Take him away. My boy, that's my boy. God, that was cool as hell. What happened to the other Aramites? World. Oh. Forget me. Oh, damn. Oh, I got chills from that. Holy shit. That was so cool. God, I'll hate him so badass. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. So if we use it, we can't even like. Oh, you gosh mean damn it. The divine knowledge capsule did that to him? Hey, Pesha did mention. Oh, yeah. You mean how some researchers go insane after getting knowledge from Ermansoul? Yeah, but we're not human, though. I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. Isn't Alhatham in the academy? Like, academia? Why was he, like, shunned or... I don't know. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods. But beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. It only controls you. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. God... What could that possibly mean? The moment that guy said that, I just got chills. That's the very same line we heard when we were in the Irmunsul uh, Ir tree. So hearing it coming from that guy who just, you know, activate or use the divine canned capsule, that's pretty interesting to know. Like, what am I entering here? Yeah. God, I really wish I was able to, like, fully check whether it was recording or not. God damn. We missed a huge chunk of the beginning part of the Archon Quest. And I still can't believe this is, like, the first act of the Archon Quest. Damn. If the Matra took him away, then that means the Academia got the Divine Knowledge Capsule back, too. Oh, what a shame. We were so close. <laughs> still... Paimon didn't expect the Divine Knowledge Capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Oh, who knows what would have happened to us? As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. Whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on, I hang believe on. our collaboration whoa, has also wait, reached wait, its end. what? Bro, we just saw you took the capsule. Well, the audience did. They probably didn't, but like, that's so unfair. Oh, we were so busy trying to find the Divine Knowledge Capsule that Paimon forgot to ask you something. Since you're a member of the Academia, do you have any idea how we could go about meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali? 
Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Really? Uh, everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? Okay, so I am confident this is where the first act ends. Right? Uh, it's almost the day of the sub -Zero's festival. Maybe we should head back too. We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good. Then we'll part ways here, Al Haytham. Until we meet again. Bye bye, Al Haytham. I can't believe you would lie to us like that, but. It's fine, I guess. Hmm. Now, do I deal with this thing first? Or should I produce the report that the higher-ups require? Oh, while Haytham's working for somebody else. I'm kind of curious what's happening here. Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to predict something. Al Haytham works for Dottore. That would be an interesting plot twist. Hell yeah, I'm down for that plot twist to happen. Bro, we're just walking. Ah, oh, it faded to black. Get it. Okay. Finally, Act 1 is over. And, um, yeah. That's Act 1 finished. And apparently that's Act 2. But this is where I'll have to end the video. Because Act 1 is over. And, um, yeah. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want that's more of the Sumeru Archon quest. Then yeah, please leave a like and subscribe or hit the bell notification so you'll be notified of when my next upload would be. That's all for today. I try to upload as much as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you guys next time. See ya!